I had a student come to me with a question that I wanted to share with you here. Given a vehicle with two wheels along the side, a front wheel and a back wheel, could the motion of one actually be used to drive the other? Of course, this could be done by directly connecting them with a gear train, but this student wanted to use a Technic beam between them, much like you would see in the sort of stereotypical train configuration. A quick internet search revealed this is called a coupling rod and is used to actually transfer the power from one wheel to another. And a YouTube search had simulations, some simple explanations, but no real information on the theory of design of this configuration. So I turned to my Spike Prime kit and decided to explore it myself. And here I wanted to share with you the process that I went through and some of the things that I found. And of course, I would love to hear if you have any experiences or insights to add. So I started with this as an initial model using two gears as a representation of the front and back wheels. The idea being the rotation of one drives the rotation of the other. Initially adding the coupling rod connects the two together and appears to be a simple solution. But in practice, the following wheel ends up going back and forth instead of spinning all the way around. You can see the coupling rod doesn't stay horizontal, but rotates at an angle like this. If the rod stays horizontal, it does indeed drive both wheels fully around. So my next idea was to try a helper gear in the middle. That could act as a third point between the other two in order to keep it horizontal. And it does help, as you can see here. And it is real close to being the solution. While it's hard to see, I can feel tension in the system as it transitions from pulling to pushing and vice versa. And you can see that while that third point aligns the rod more horizontal, there is still a little bit of misalignment at that point in the rotation. If one middle gear improved it, perhaps adding two would be even better. And actually, connecting those together in a gear train would ensure that these positions stayed perfectly horizontal throughout the entire rotation. Here's an example of a coupling rod staying horizontal as the gears rotate. Now, extending that coupling rod out, it can be connected to front and back wheels completing the system. While seeming to be a better, more stable creation, it diverged from the original goal. Here, this middle gear system is what's driving the front and back wheels, not the front wheel driving the back one. So back to the drawing board. Now, instead of just thinking about a pair of wheels in 2D, I started creating the whole system, including both sides of the car. The reason I did this was to now connect coupling rods on both sides, but to offset them slightly out of phase from each other. This way, when one side was reaching the crucial push-pull transition point, the other side would be mid-stroke and smooth out the motion. This seemed to be a much better setup, simple in creation, with no strange tensions, misalignments, or hiccups. With the wheels connected, it was time to power the front ones to see if they could drive the system. The addition of a motor and the Spike Prime hub for driving it the default heart program was enough to demonstrate that this could go forward or backward with the front wheel driving the back one via a coupling rod. I hope you enjoyed this exploration and if you have other insights or suggestions, I would love to hear your ideas in the comments below.